Amanda Knox's support for Michelle Carter comes as a surprise. She doesn't defend Carter's actions, but sees Carter as she sees herself, a victim of an unjust legal system. The media called Amanda Knox angel face. The Italian legal system called Knox guilty twice for killing her roommate until its highest court overturned the verdict. Now in the court of public opinion, Knox is rushing to Michelle Carter's defense. When I was on trial for murder in Italy, the media tried to paint me as a femme fatale. She writes in an opinion piece in the Los Angeles Times. So it was with a sickening sense of deja vu that I watched the prosecution attempt the same trick with Carter. Knox argues Carter may not be innocent in a moral or philosophical sense, but she was wrongfully convicted of involuntary manslaughter. And that in holding her responsible for Conrad Roy's death, Knox says we ignore the mental health factors that lead to suicide, and we learn nothing about how to prevent it. After her own wrongful conviction, Knox says she contemplated suicide while in an Italian jail. Now adding to Michelle Carter's legal troubles is a wrongful death suit brought by Roy's mother. Among the claims that Carter provided instruction and failed to act when she knew what she did posed a risk of death to the teenager. Three. Thursday, Carter heard years. the family's pain oh, at her pain sentencing. Not a day goes by with, without him being my first thought waking up and my last thought going to bed. Carter is free while she appeals the criminal case, now with the support of Amanda Knox. And we reached out to Carter's legal team for a response to that multi-million dollar lawsuit, but we have yet to hear anything. All Chanel? Right. Thank you, Anne. Hello today, fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.